Hello, my people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenneth Shumi Ogwajo. And on today's video, I will be teaching you a simple way to make a handbag with fabrics. But before then, please have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Try and do so. Then hit on the notification bell so each time we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks so much for watching this video. I thank all my returning subscribers and to you, my new subscribers. I say a very big welcome to all of you. Now, let's go ahead. On today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make this wonderful handbag with fabric. And the measurement for this handbag now is 17.8. 17.8 by 14 inch is the measurement. And it will be 2 pt. For inner side, where I will put the zip. It will be 17.8 by 2.5 inch. So, and it will be two pieces also. Then coming to the lining, the lining will also be 17.8. 17.8 by 11.5 inch, and it will be two pieces. The, and this is the handle for the bag. And for this handle for this bag, the measurement is uh, I'm using one one and one quarter inch handle, and the measurement is the uh, thirty point five inch. So let's go ahead and sew this bag together now. So the next thing I will do now is for me to add the handle and the measurement. I measure from here to here to be four inch before adding the handle here. From here to here is four point five, and from here. So here is four inch. That is where I'll add my handle. So let me go ahead and show the handle here. So this is the outcome of the one that I have sold now. This is the outcome. This is two pieces. So let me go ahead and sew the inner lining and the zip. So now this is the zip and this is the inner part of the bag. So I will add this one. I'll add this zip this way. The good side of the zip will face the good side of this one. There will be opposite this way. Then you put it this way. I use what I'm doing. You use space like two inch here, then you add it this way, and now we'll sew it this way. Then after this, now I'll add the lining. So I'll add this lining this way also. And you see, I'll add it this way. I'll start at the beginning to add the lining. Remember, I not I start at the beginning to add the zip, but I will start at the beginning to add the lining because the lining and the main body of the the leather are equal. So let me go ahead and sew it straight.
So after sewing it, it will be this way. It will be this way now. So after sewing the zip and the lining, this is how some of them will look like. Then I'll add my zip head here. So this is how it will look like. Can you see? So now I'll go ahead. Before sewing this again, I'll go ahead and fold this one this way so that it will not be holding the lining while covering the zip. I'll hold it this way, then I'll sew it once again. I can leave it this way, you can fold it. For me, I like folding it so that it will not be in the last, the lining will, will not be in the last while sewing the bag because while opening the zip now, it might be hindering me from opening the zip. Can you see? If we open it very well, it might not hinder, but can you see now it have hindered here so we might just open it this way or you can might just turn it this way then when you turn it this way you still also so if let me leave it this way now so coming to this side now after sewing this one so coming down here i'll measure two inch here i'll measure in two inch this way then i'll also come this way then i'll measure two inch also this way then I'll cut it out. I'll come to this side also. I'll do the same thing here. Measure it two inch this way. And also measure it two inch this way also. Then I'll cut it out. So after cutting it out here, yeah, I'll hold it this way, then I'll sew it straight, I'll sew this side, then I'll come to the base, I will not sew here, but I'll sew here also, let me go ahead and sew this side one. But before sewing this side now, I want to remove some part of this, so coming to this side, I'll remove half inch, I'll remove half inch here. I will remove like half inch so that I will use the fabric to cover it. So I will not be seeing the dirty side of the fabric while covering the main body of the bag. So I will apply small gum here. I will apply small gum here so I will use it to cover it. So I will cover it this way. So it will be this way. Can you see? I'll cover this side and I'll cover this side also. So let me go ahead and sew it here. So after sewing this side, I will go ahead and sew here. I will not sew this two side here, but I will cover this side also. You know this machine is too hard for me. Just meant for leather, but I'm using it for fabric. That is why I'm stretching it with my hand so that it will not come together. So this is how it will look like. Then I'll hold this one this way. And you see, this is this this one is like this now. Then I'll turn it opposite. This is how it will be. Then I'll sew it also. Then 
then I will sew this side. So after sewing this one, this is how it will look like. Can you see? Let me open the zip. So this is the inner body of the leather. That is the lining. Then let me go ahead and sew the main body of the leather. So what I will do now is for me to remove half inch on the top of this one also. I will remove half inch from here. I will remove like half inch here. Then after that, I will apply gun here now. So after applying the gum, I will use the fabric and cover it this way. I will have done this at the initial side, but I didn't remember it. That's why I'm doing it here now. So this is how it will be. So I will measure two inch here. I will measure two inch from here now. Then I will also come here and measure two inch. I will do the same thing here. So now I'll place two of them on top of each other. So I'll use it to cut two of them together so that they will be equal. So I'll cut it this way. Then I'll cut this side also. So after cutting it this way, I will still turn it this way now and hold two of them together this way. I have the twist this way now. Then I will sew it first. Also. Make sure they are equal this way before sewing it. Make sure they are equal. Now there's a mistake here, so I need to remove this more. So now after that, I will sew this side also. After sewing it, it will be this way. Then I will turn it the way I did on the lining. It will be this way. Make sure that this one and this one they are touching each other here. They are touching each other this way. You can open it this way. You can open it this way. Then we sew it. Same thing I apply to this side also. I will open it this way now. Make sure they are equal here. Make sure they are equal here so that we will no mistake. And the shape will not look like another thing. 
in the ecop, then I will store it. So it will look like this one, then I will turn it. So this back will be this way now, then I will put the lining inside. I will put the lining inside this back this way. So the lining will be this way. Can you see? Then I'll sew it round. Let me go ahead and sew it round. Now it will be this way. I'll cover it this way. Then I'll sew it round here. Yeah, let me go ahead and sew it round. So this is how the bag will look like after sewing it. Remember the bag has to zip inside. So this is the zip. So friends, this is the bag that we have sold now. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, try and do so. Then hit on notification bell. So each time we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.